I'm making a video. I don't have braces in my, you know, wedding pictures. What, man? Who are you hollering? I just at? told you. Who are you hollering at? I brought you gifts. <laughs> man. What is it? Sorry, but you know yes, I was making a video. Haru. I was making a video. Haru, baby. You wanna open that for us? Yes, on camera. Okay. Okay. I love you. Don't give me that. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's good? It's your girl Shanice. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my braces. I'm doing a two year and more braces update. It's been a hot minute since I did my last video. It has been over a year since my last update, which is crazy because it doesn't even feel like that. So the last update I did was October 2018. So here we are in 2019. But yeah, if you guys are interested in my teeth and my braces journey, just keep watching. Okay, so I tried to write everything down here in my phone, in my notes, because it's been this long. Um, and I really had to update myself because I don't remember half the shit <laughs> that's been happening with my teeth. So total, I've been having my braces on for two years and four months, which... Is beyond me because it doesn't seem like that long to me but here we are so the last time I updated you guys that's when I first got my elastics and I had two different positionings I think during the day I had it from my canine teeth to the back of my mouth and at nighttime I had it from canine to canine and to close my bite so my bite has changed so much since then like so much and because i no longer have a open bite yay or i don't have an under bite yay i'm able to talk a lot better if you go back to my previous video i'll probably insert a clip you would hear me lisping a lot it's september 21st See, I can't even talk. September 21st. And honestly, when I go into my orthodontist appointments, he doesn't really do much. That's because I had a major like open bite. So like my tongue would just go right through there and I couldn't really help it. And now my teeth are like over. I have an overbite. I have somewhat of an overbite. But my orthodontist did say that he wants my teeth to come a little bit more forward. So that's what we're working on right now. But your girl no longer has an open bite or underbite it is all corrected and I did not do any jaw surgery so shout out to my orthodontist so yeah y'all my teeth and my speech was always an insecurity for me but I'm so happy that it improved now and it's way better than before um, obviously it's not a hundred percent but it is better and I'm happy okay so next thing Okay, so I did get power chains. I got power chains a very, very, very long time ago, it seems like now. Um, definitely over, it's probably been a year maybe since I got power chains. And um, I first got them on the bottom of my teeth and then he recently put it on my top teeth as well. So I felt like he he's doing that now because we're on the final steps. So I got power chains at the top maybe about two months ago or so I think two months ago I got my power chains at the top and did it hurt it definitely hurt when I first got my um power chains on but over time you definitely get used to it because it's a lot of like when he puts it on it's a lot of pulling this way that way Ooh, and as soon as you take it off your teeth like honestly start to shift so yeah <laughs> But when it comes to pain now, I'm very used to getting cut in the mouth. I'm very used to just the overall pain of just having my braces. So I'm used to it. I'm, I can eat now. I don't go like weeks without eating. And because I'm finally like on my last leg, it doesn't, there's not much shifting going on now. So it doesn't really hurt. So that's a good thing. Okay, so this is very important. So in my braces journey, I missed like four appointments, which was almost, I think, four months of no orthodontist. So that really messed up, I feel like, the timeline of my teeth and everything. And 
a lot of ish happened when I missed those appointments. And I missed them because I was traveling and my orthodontist only comes in, I think, two times a month. And every time that he was in, I was not there. So it was really hard. So I noticed that because I had the, you know, he didn't get to adjust my braces or anything like that, my teeth started shifting. So like my mouth started looking like sideways. It was really, really weird. And like a portion of my teeth kind of was going back. It was like the weirdest thing ever. And I noticed it maybe about June, July, like it was like real bad. Uh, I remember July though, I was watching my my engagement video and I'm like, bruh. I was like, bruh, what is wrong with my mouth right now? Why does my mouth look crooked? I was like, what the heck? So I'm looking through that footage and was like, I need to go to the dentist like ASAP Rocky. So yeah, if you have braces, I highly suggest to go to all of your appointments. Do not miss them because it will delay the time of you taking off your braces and it could just fuck up your teeth, okay? So I'm gonna insert that clip just so you guys can see because I even think I got some comments in my video and they're like, what happened to your teeth? <laughs> and that's because I've been missing my appointments. Don't do it guys, don't do it. So anyways, as soon as I went in, I think it was in, August I think it was right before my birthday I went in my teeth literally shifted back in a few days it doesn't take long but just, just don't do that okay so my last appointment was two weeks ago went in and he's like everything's going well everything's going great we're just doing minor touches here and there just so you can get that perfect smile um, he's like honestly this is like a big transformation he's like your whole like profile change your mouth changed um, and he cannot wait to show me the final picture and the final results because he says it's crazy He's like I can't even believe I did this without letting you do jaw surgery and I was like me too But honestly even my friend Shantae she had a major underbite and her teeth are like perfect now So if your orthodontist says you have to get jaw surgery double jaw surgery or whatever it is Definitely try the braces first and then see what happens because sometimes they just want your money and you don't need to do all that so Braces are amazing. Anyways, back to my appointment. So I went in and he was saying that I still have gaps in the bottom of my, like at the bottom of my teeth. He was saying that that's the way that your teeth grows. Your teeth are kind of big and that's why you have those gaps. Um, he's like, there's nothing really that he could do about it. It's just the way that my teeth grows and comes out the gums and all of that. So what he suggested was to shave the side of my teeth um, so it can close up. So he pretty much did that. I was like, you know what? You do what's best. Whatever you think is best, I'm here for it. So he ended up shaving the side of my teeth. I thought it was going to hurt. It did not hurt. He shaved the side of my tooth and literally like in a few days, it just closed up that gap. So he said he, we're going to do that little by little until all the gaps are closed. So um, this whole side right here is all closed up, which I was really surprised about because that gap was, it was pretty big. Um, but I still... This side right here is like gapped up, okay? I have so many gaps on that side. And I think it's because he took off the power chain on this side, which was a little weird. He only has the power chain on this side of my mouth. So, yeah, we got to close these gaps up. And another thing I'm noticing, okay, so I feel like this side, which is my left side, is looks better than this side. And like obviously that's because of the gaps. And then also because... This side has a full overbite and then this side doesn't. It's still gappy. It's still trying to like come forward or come down or whatever the case is. So I hope we can fix that and I hope that it's not a struggle to do so because after that I feel like my, my smile is perfect. Like I'll be so happy. I would even be happy if I took off my braces today, like honestly. Mm. So yeah, I don't really know when my braces are going to come off. He didn't really give me a date. I just hope that it's by my wedding date. Because, um, you know, when I take those pics and everything, I just want to have a nice, bright smile. I feel like after I get my braces off, I'm going to, like, sh file my teeth down so they're, like, straight. Because I kind of have, like, jagged teeth. And then I'm also going to get them whitened, of course, just so I can have a nice, bright smile. But... Yeah, overall, I'm really, really pleased with my results. I see such a big change in just the way my face looks, my mouth looks, my nose looks, the way that I speak, like everything. So 
yeah i think that's all i really wanted to update you guys with yeah i totally forgot to mention that i am still wearing elastics right now i've taken them off in, in the in between months in the years time but mostly i've been wearing them so i'm back to wearing them this time to i guess further um get a uh, overbite or just make my teeth come down because that's what he said he wants so i'm wearing the one fourth 6.35 millimeter 100 gm whatever that is elastics i'm not really sure like what i guess strength it is but it's not that strong to me so i'm actually wearing it from k9 to k9 as you can see it doesn't hurt or anything like that it's a little bit uncomfortable but it's not terrible anyways i think that's all i want to share with you guys if you have any questions definitely leave it down below i might be leaving out things i'm not really sure but i'll get back to you in the um comment section so if you guys want more of these updates definitely give me a big thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video and now let's roll the clips so you can see my teeth